What do you lean on? I'm not talking about that kind of lean. I'm talking about where you put your confidence to get you through the day. Maybe you like to lean on getting all the right answers. A plus. Or maybe you lean on running the fastest or getting picked first in PE. You might lean on being able to make people laugh. What's the best way to throw a birthday party on Mars? You plan it. <laughs> maybe you even lean on getting a new pair of shoes or the latest gaming system to make you feel good. None of those are bad things, but if you put your confidence in them, they're going to slide. Just like that shelf. You'll mess up on a test. Sprain an ankle. Discover someone's laughing at you instead of at your jokes. And that brand new gaming system? It might pick up your spirits for a day or two, but after that, it's nothing special anymore. There's only one safe place to put your confidence. God made you. God loves you. And you were designed to lean on God. Even when your day doesn't go the way you hoped, God doesn't change. When you have to wait, God is still there. And when you're worried or anxious, God still has a plan. God can be trusted over and over again. When you ask God each day to guide your steps and trust God to give you the strength and confidence, others can see that peace and freedom that comes with it. They can see God at work in you. That's why trust is such an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do some trust falls now. All right. Okay. Okay, you're gonna turn around. I'm gonna count to three, and then you're gonna fall back into my arms, and you can trust that I will catch you. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, just to be clear, you're gonna fall backwards into my arms. Oh, right. I got it. Okay, you're not gonna fall forward or straight down. Okay, nothing strange. Great. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> One. I trust you. Two. I trust you. Three. <laughs> All right. See, yeah. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My turn. All right. Oh, here, here we go. go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Let's do it. <clears throat> One, two, three. Ah! Ah! And I'm John. Welcome to the So and So Show. What do we have today on the show, Brandon? Oh, you know, just your average, ordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, later today on the So and So Show, our circus comes to you. You don't want to miss it. Trust us. Wait, what? Did he say the circus is coming here? That's what I heard. That's right. Right here on the So and So Show, you'll see a circus that isn't to be missed. Stronger than ever, flying higher, more thrills. Trust us. This can't be true. It's true. Trust us. You'll just have to wait. Okay, now I'm excited. Uh, me too. <laughs> what should we do? I, I guess we'll just wait for the circus. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are we sure they're coming? Oh, we're coming. We are the self-proclaimed greatest show on earth. Trust us. All right. Okay. You know what? I I don't know if we can trust that they're coming. No. We don't want to hear it. You know what? Why don't we just uh, do our own circus? Yeah. Introducing the... Still pretty goodest show on earth. First, the daringest man on one wheel, Unijon. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 I almost did it. I, uh, okay, hold on one second. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, 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 Brandon, come here. Help, help me. Help me. Oh, did it, 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 oh. Hey! Amazing! For our next unbelievable performance. If you want to see an unbelievable performance, stay tuned. Stop it! For our next amazing act, we present the tallest man on earth! <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> The greatest jugglers in a 10 foot radius. <laughs> Time to up our game juggling eggs. Whoa! Whoa! Next. So I'd say our circus has been pretty incredible so far. You would? But do you really go to the circus just for the acts? But the circus will come to you later in. You also go to the circus for the food. Peanuts. The cotton candy. Popcorn. But the best thing of all, funnel, funnel cake. cake. You may be asking, 
How do you make a funnel cake? Well, you need a cake. And a funnel. And then you just, you just shove the cake through the funnel. Yeah, uh, onto a plate. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Are we doing it? Making a funnel cake. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah, you're really gonna have to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you go. You go. Hold on, hold on. All right. I mean, I can try. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Got it? Yep. Okay, here, you need this? No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just like the circus. I don't think that's how they do it. I think you're right. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen. Hello, fellas. How's it going? Oh, you know, just putting on a circus. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, because the real circus was a no-show. Still to come at the So-and-So Show, the greatest show on earth. Trust us. Just ignore that, Kellen. Yeah, we've been waiting for them to come since the beginning of the show. I don't think you really gave them enough time. Well, it's been like eight whole minutes. You know, maybe we should jump into today's story. It's about someone who had to trust God and wait for a very long time. And here to help me are the So-and-So Show players. Even better than the circus. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> Our story today comes from the book of Genesis. In Genesis, we read about a man named Abraham. God made a promise to Abraham that he would have more descendants than the stars in the sky and that the whole world would be blessed through his family. But at the time, Abraham and his wife, Sarah, didn't have any kids. Plus, they were already very old. So they waited and waited and waited some more. Sometime later, the Lord appeared to Abraham in the form of three men. Whew. Whoa, it's hot. Whew. My sweat is sweating. Yeah. Oh, man, it's definitely the hottest part of the day. Well, that looks like three men over there. But where do they come from? Wait a Mesopotamia minute. Gasp. That's the Lord. Lord. Hi. <laughs> look, look, look. If you're pleased with me, don't leave, huh? It's, it, it, it's hot. But, hey, here, I'll go get you some water, huh? Yeah, some water, right? That you can wash your feet. Uh, and there's a tree right there that you can, you can uh, sit under, get some shade, uh, and some food. I, 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 I bet you're hungry, huh? huh? I, I bet you're hungry. I'll, I'll go get you some food, and then you can get your strength back, and then you go on your way, huh? Right? You, I mean, you travel all this way just to see me. I, I want to do this for you, huh? So, okay, all right, so... Don't go anywhere, huh? I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> Sarah? Sarah? What? We have guests. Get 36 pounds of our best flour and make some bread. Okay. 36 pounds. While Sarah made the bread, Abraham went and had a calf prepared. He brought some butter and milk and the calf to the three men who he knew was the Lord, and they ate together. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's Sarah? He's over there. In the tent. I will surely return to you. About this time next year, your wife Sarah will have a son. Have 
a baby? <laughs> oh, I am worn out and my husband is old. Can I really have a baby now? Why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, will I really have a baby now that I'm old? Is there anything too difficult for me? <laughs> Sarah will have a son. I didn't laugh. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You laughed. It was hard for Sarah to believe that the Lord would give her and Abraham a child, especially at their age. They had waited for so long. But a year later, God's promise came true. We will name him Isaac. Yes, God has given laughter to me. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Thank you so much, so-and-so show players. Great story, Kellen. Uh, how old was Abraham when Isaac was born? He was 100 years old. 100 years old. Wow. That's a long time to wait and a long time to trust. Yeah, but I love that when God says something will happen, it happens. True. You can trust that when God makes a promise, that God will keep that promise. God promised Abraham that the whole world would be blessed because of his family. And years later, one of Abraham's descendants, Jesus, was born. Wow. Wow is right. Hey, thanks, Kellen. We'll see you next time. Later, guys. 100 years old. Wow. Yeah, you said that already. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't even wait eight minutes for the circus. Imagine if we had to wait for something big. Yeah. 100 years old. Wow. Right. Reveal the question. Oh, when have you had to wait for something big? Uh, maybe you've had to wait for a big vacation. Or maybe you're having to wait to make new friends after moving to a new town, and it's taken you longer than you thought. Maybe you're waiting to see your grandparents that you haven't seen in months. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you've had to wait for the circus to show up in your basement. I'm guessing that that has not happened to many of them. I said maybe. You did. Uh, well, that's all the time we have for you today. Yeah, so you will have to wait until next time. But we will be back. Trust us. Absolutely. Until then, I'm Brandon. And I'm still John. And this was The So-and-So Show. And this was The So-and-So Show. Wait, yeah, I think together again. And, and this, this was the so and so show. And okay, and, and together ready? again. And, and this, this was the so and so show. Hey, hey, it's the <laughs> circus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at it! Wow. Hey, lion. Whoa, look at that. There's a bear there. Oh, this is a cannonball shooter. Oh, oh, she's swimming instead. Thanks, circus!